Hello, my name is John Lance, and I'm here with our one of our fixed income traders, uh, Ray Prisco. Um, we're going to do a quick tutorial on the Bond Point platform uh, that Capus provides uh, to its client base. Uh, Ray will share his screen so you can follow along. You can go ahead and do that, Ray. Sure thing. We're going to start off on the Capus website. Um, there's a really easy button, a really wait way to get to the bond point platform in the top right corner of the screen. So just go ahead and click on that. And that will take you over to ICE's bond point. Um, again, this is a platform uh, that's owned by ICE, started by Knight um, back in the day. And we just uh, provide that to our clients that would like a, an electronic um, option uh, to trade some of their fixed income securities. So uh, from here, you're just gonna go ahead and log on. And we'll get right into it. Um, this is this is the platform. It's pretty self-explanatory, but we're just going to kind of go over some of the basic um, tools of it. Um, let's see. So, uh, where do we want to go? Uh, on the right side of the screen, you can see um, just current rates. Um, so you can obviously see the yield grid. Um, you can see uh, treasury rates, um, muni rates. Uh, corporate rates and, as well as CD rates. Um, if you're looking to buy a bond, um, you can either use the offerings drop down button. Um, it's kind of like right below that ICE bond point um, logo, um, or you can click on one of the yellowish buttons in the middle of the screen. Um, so, Ray, if you could show us uh, an example of how one might search for, say, a muni bond um, with basic parameters, um, that would be super helpful. Sure. I will use the drop down button here and I will click on municipal bonds. And we have a bunch of different parameters that we can use here. So what I'll quickly do is pick a few different uh, uh, state specific items out. In this example, I will use a Pennsylvania Muni. Um, I'm going to keep all the parameters open for the purpose of that Muni and for the coupon payments and say I just want to look at other restraints here, such as GOs versus revenue bonds, and perhaps something that's uh, non-callable. So I'll click on that. And of course, if you're buying a municipal bond, you probably prefer something that's not subject to AMT or taxable. So therefore, I'm removing these two tabs as well. I don't want them to come up in our search. So for all intents and purposes here, we will look at a max maturity of 2028, 20, five years and in. And I am setting minimum rating parameters here and minimum coupon parameters here. And we'll see if that will find other bonds that will come up that we could choose from. Um, and this is essentially a listing of Pennsylvania GOs that are maturing within five years. And just to go over the first example, uh, you can hover over the actual uh, description there and it gives you more important information that you may wanna look at in more detail um, as far as tax exempt status and to confirm that all the details that you're looking at are correct. Uh, this is the dollar price. This is the yield to worst. Again, these are non-callable. So the yield to worst, yield to maturity should be the same. And in this case, this is a five bond minimum and five bond increment. Um, essentially, it's an all or none uh, offering on that. Um, in this particular situation, uh, there's 25 bonds being offered with a five bond minimum. And you can go ahead and click on buy and put the order amount in there and then preview order. Uh, again, your principal accrued interest and total net money should be there. And uh, preview order, submit, and it will feed through. Cool, and I think one thing to note there too is sometimes there are uh, minimum bonds um, that show up on the platform, um, but if you were to call the desk directly and talk to, to Ray or David um, on our desk, uh, you may be able to find that um, we can get for, uh, or we can do an order that's, uh, that's less bonds than that. Um, or greater bonds, depending on how you want to go. Um, if you could, if you wouldn't mind showing us a corporate as well, um, just so we have an idea of that 
Uh, sure. Uh, looking at the corporates now, um, again, I clicked the corporate tab this time versus using the drop down button. That's the same functionality on both. Um, you could, in this situation, um, go by an issuer, uh, change up if you know you like a specific issuer. And I'm going to use Amazon and we'll see what kind of Amazon bonds can fall down, uh, can be offered. Uh, otherwise, I can put other parameters just like we did with the municipals having minimum ratings and quantity and putting a range between the maturities um, and any specific parameters as, such as uh, coupon, uh, minimum yields that you would like to see or call protections and everything like that. Um, so again, just finding Amazon bonds at this point, I'm just gonna see what's available and I'll click find bonds. And here are all the Amazon bonds that are being offered. Again, going to the first list item here, uh, giving you the full parameters, showing the issue size and the amount outstanding, which I think is important to look at, um, but also what the ratings are, the price yield to worst. And again, this dealer is being off, uh, is showing an offering of 500 with a minimum of 10 on their parameters. So again, we can go to click to buy and say we want to buy 25. And we could put that order in the principal accrued interest and total amount uh, uh, changes to the bond size. And we can preview the order from there. And again, this is now ready to submit for an order. Perfect. Um, now I know Ray, we've had some clients that have asked about new issue CDs. Um, where would you go to uh, be able to find those? All right, good question. We can go back to this tab here, going to the CD market. Um, for new issue CDs, it's important to know that we are looking in the primary versus secondary uh, uh, part of the market. So we will want to click on yes for primary. And it's important to look at if you have any state restrictions. Um, I know Texas does have quite a few state restrictions. So we want to make sure that these are all available for say Texas residents uh, in this particular case. And maturity, we want one year bonds. So we'll do 2024 only. And this will include all months. And then I could search and find what new issues are out there. You'll notice that all the new issues available for Texas residents are shown. This, that removes all the Texas restrictions uh, I chose that one just because it's a very popular restriction for a lot of banks, but these are all new issues priced at par with the total amount available and the minimum incre increment you could buy on each one. Um, again, you can go through the same process of buying and previewing a size, putting in maturities, let's do 240. It should recalculate your principal, 240 bonds at par. And we are we can, we are ready to submit that trade, and then the order will actually stop on our desk here. Uh, again, that's important to note that anytime you are putting an order in or attempting to sell a bond, the bonds will stop on our desk, so we can review it uh, in case there's any issues. We can give you a call and have a quick discussion to see if there's a, a better way to do things, or just to point out maybe some features of a bond and move on from there. Um, so I guess at this point, it would be a good idea to maybe show how to post a bond for sale. Again, before a bond is being posted for sale, um, it does stop on our desk before it does hit the market and bids are being received and sent back to you. Um, in order to do that, we will go to the bid wanted screen and say I had 25 bonds. Um, I have a QSIP queued up already here. Um, I wanted to settle tomorrow and we could preview the order. Oh, it's asking for a phone number. Now this bond is being prompted to confirm the details here. So we know that we are attempting to sell uh, for a bond. We have not changed the settlement dates and we're posting 25 bonds for sale. 
Uh, there is a trace history here if you'd like to take a look at that. Um, if we need to modify it, we can. If not, we can submit the bid request. And now on my screen, uh, on the desk, I will be notified that John is attempting to sell 25 Amazon bonds and everything would look clean and I was submitted for uh, to the market for uh, for bids to be returned to the clients. Perfect. Um, now, I guess the last thing that I wanted to kind of hit on is if we had clients that wanted to build a ladder, how would they go about doing that? Okay. Um, looking back at the home screen here, we have more uh, parameters that are up here. We just went over some offerings and bid one ins. Um, you can check the order status of a bond that you have out there. Um, the next thing we can do is use one of the tools, and this would be for building a bond ladder. And so we would answer a few questions, um, and uh, I'll help you uh, show what this looks like here. So we're looking at uh, a municipal bond ladder. For example, we want to look at non-taxable bonds and click for the next step. And we can click on municipal bonds because we're looking at tax-free municipals, um, but this will work for all different types of fixed income products that you can see here. So I'm clicking on the next step. And say we have a client that's interested in spending $200,000 face uh, or in principle there, uh, clicking the next step. And this particular client, um, I'll just leave some of the parameters here, but uh, for 200 face, maybe bonds that are roughly 50K in size. So I'm changing the parameters to show four bonds. And we would like a ladder within five years with a first payment starting in 2024. And if we want to be really picky, we can throw in some uh, coupon payment dates here as well. But to, for simplicity's sake, we're going to move to the next step. And uh, again, this is going to um, ask us our credit parameters for the level of safety that we're looking for. Um, for simplicity's sake, we'll look at A rated and above. And the last step, because we are looking at municipal bonds, is to make sure that we're looking at munis within a particular state, uh, if, if we are so inclined. Um, for this example, we will use California. We're looking at tax-exempt California municipal bonds with a five-year ladder, $200,000 to invest, and an option to pick four different bonds. So at this point, we're going to get our results. And it is giving us parameters to pick out a handful of bonds that could start that we could start using to build our ladder. It is giving you an option for the first three bonds in the tranche with a 24 maturity on each one. And they're very comparable in total costs and they should be very comparable in yield. And then again, we can move down to the second rung, which is looking at 2026 bonds and very similar parameters as far as net money. Um, pricing is a little different here, obviously, with the different size coupons, but essentially we should be looking at very similar rates uh, given the very similar maturities on each one of these. Um, and looking down here, you can pick two more because we chose to pick four all together. And then you can build a ladder that way. And I'll just leave all of the items listed there. And we could show only the ladder with selected rows. And then this comes up with our rough parameters with the total accrued interest, total principal, and total net money. And as you can see, we're attempting to spend just under $196,000. And then you can click buy this ladder and the orders would prompt. And this is your last chance to take a look before these orders would get to our desk. And then at the very end, we can review and then submit the order if we have, uh, if you have the green light to go ahead and do so. And then those orders will show up on our desk for review. We make sure that there's nothing uh, too funny about any of these bonds. And there's, you know, wanna make sure you know that all the parameters that are there and we will submit the order on your behalf and get you filled. Awesome. Well, thanks, uh, Ray. I appreciate you kind of going over um, some of the basic tools of, of BondPoint. Um, obviously, all of our clients have access to uh, the desk directly. Um, so if you know if you ever have a question about uh, the system itself or uh, you just want to place a, a trade through the desk, obviously, you're welcome to do that um, as well. And so um, hopefully this was uh, helpful. Um,
and uh, happy trading. All right. Thanks. Bye.